It's still midday live. Let's focus on other stories. That's one of our headline stories and persons who were brutalized by police officers during the last Let My Vote Count Alliance demonstration are in demand for a new voters register have sued the inspector general of police igp and the attorney general over their predicaments now the victims in a class of action have resorted to the legal action in protest of abuse of their human rights while they engage the lawful act of demonstration and this afternoon i do have in the studio ibrahim ajay he is a spokesperson for let my vote count good afternoon ibrahim good afternoon wendy i hope you're doing well i'm very well all right now how has it been or what has happened after the brutality and then when you raise concerns about what happened yes did you meet the police authority on what happened uh, we did in fact mm -hmm. um because at the time if you recall we were in fact arrested by the police uh, that's the leadership of let my vote count mm -hmm. alliance was arrested by the police um and we were to be processed for court um, attempts were made by us to come and by the police themselves to come and plead guilty we said no we have done nothing wrong at all let's proceed to court when the police noticed that their attempts for us to admit guilt wasn't working and they unilaterally dropped all charges if you recall um, since then the victims of the police brutality on September the 16th uh, have received hospital treatment uh, so the <coughs> medical reports uh, both pictorial as well as uh, other data was given as part of the suit. Um, if you recall, Justice Ajakuma lost an eye. He now has an artificial eye mm. uh, inserted uh, in his left eye. Um, others, uh, such as um, uh, Michael Asamoah, uh, again, the pictures are there. And it's, I'm speaking to events and facts in the public domain. So I'm not being prejudicial here mm. because the, the matter is before the courts. It's information in the public domain. And he had a gash down this eye, sorry, down this side of his head. So all those evidences have been filed before the courts. Um, and uh, I'm sure that the courts in due process will set a hearing where plaintiffs and defendants, that's, uh, uh, I'm talking the IGP and the police, uh, together with the Let My Vote Count Alliance and the Ghanaian citizens who were hurt, um, can then testify and we'll let the courts decide. So is that to say they have been served? Well, yes, we've given it to the, uh, to the courts mm. and I'm sure the courts will, I'm sure the IGP can be found uh, and uh, the police can be served accordingly. Yeah. So it means that the issue is now in the law courts? It's so in the law courts right now. now. But the question I, I, I was looking at is, which you've tried explaining early on, is that after the incident, mm. did you really meet them? to conclude on the issue, you did air your concerns to them. What was the feedback from these persons mentioned? Mm. That's why I mentioned that we were arrested. Yeah, yeah. And, and in that process, we met with the police. There, there was dialogue. It wasn't just the fact that we were Positive arrested. Positive or negative? It, it was amicable, let me put it that mm. way, because we had four separate meetings post-September 16th with the police, and it was amicable. I want to state on record here again, Wendy, let my vote count alliance we appreciate and welcome and indeed applaud the police um, for the wonderful work they do day in day out for the citizens of ghana and and i think the police are aware of that we do recognize uh the work they do and we as i say celebrate the police having said that there is a body of the police albeit a minority who with all respect are not fit to wear the uniform they are denigrating the, the police by the actions that they took. Mm. How is it that you can fire a tear gas canister into somebody's eye and not even into the air? How is it that a 70-year-old grandmother, and the pictures were captured on TV3 and other media, this is not for dispute, mm. being whipped by the police for no other reason than they were peacefully demonstrating. And the thing that we need to understand is this. There is no footage, and I mentioned this at the time, if you recall, uh, Wendy, the, the police were videoing us as well. And there is no footage of the Ghanaians attacking the police. When they fired the tear gas, we dispersed. Now, if the intention was for us to disperse and you achieve your aim, then why follow us with horse whips and okay. batons, men, women, and grandmothers being whipped by, as I say, some of the police. I want to underscore that. Right. Uh, and I'm hoping that this will give the oxygen for democracy. And maybe when we go to court, some of the police themselves can blow the whistle on their colleagues who 
uh, killed, or not, not killed, but if you will, attempted murder. And I say attempted murder purely for this. Live ammunition was fired uh, on that day. Now that matter is in court, so yes. I'm sure that will be dealt with. But you also um, threatening to hit the streets yes. uh, regarding your, you demanding the lecture commission to spell out how it intends to clean the register. Yes. Since, um, if you recall, October 25th, 26, the EC itself empaneled a five-member committee led by VC RAC Crab mm. to look into the merits of having a new voters register. What they came out with in the report, which was released in December 2015, was that they don't see the merits of a new register, but what they do recommend is that there should be a process of validation. Now, validation is a process. This is the EC's own panel members' report and recommendation. And they state that what they suggest is that validation be taking place. And the process of validation is this, Wendy. All the polling stations will be opened, and the 14,158,032 people, let's say 14 million people, on the register would be invited to go and validate mm -hmm. your, 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 your status. And that means you go and you'll be biometrically, by your fingerprint and facially, your details will be taken just to make sure that indeed the person presenting the card is indeed Ibrahim Ajay or Wendy yourself. And that's the procedure that the EC has recommended. What this will do is it will make sure that those who are dead, because you can't come up from the drave and validate, would then be mm. uh, removed from it. And again, those who don't wish to validate, they'll be removed. The, uh, the panel report by VCRAC Crab, um, after page, seven, page 2021 of that report, states that they estimate 584,000 people have died since 2012, but they are likely still to be on the register. And they mention that this is unacceptable, I'm using the words of the panel report, given that presidential elections have been won by fewer margin. You recall that in 20, 2008, Professor Mills won 10, and therefore the election by 29,000 votes. And here you have 584,000 names that are on now, there. If I, if I can cut you there, now the yes. EC has come up with a calendar for activities ahead of the elections. And yes. Even if you're not satisfied with that, have mm. you tried reaching out to the EC in person as a team or a group? And also, have you written to the Electoral Commission to air out your grievances? Mm. And what would you do sure. next? We are, we're not alone in this. Remember, mm. Let My Vote Count is an alliance. Uh, I'm answering your question directly, Wendy. There's been other correspondences. It was only, uh, even only yesterday, the PPP mm. is demanding for auditing of the accounts. You have the CPP, again, making correspondence, likewise the, with the New Patriotic Party and ourselves, Let My Vote Count Alliance, post the release of the report in December 2015. So yes, there has been that uh, interaction and engagement with the EC. And while they've put out a timetable, the timetable, in fact, does not include what its own member panel has recommended it to do. And December has come and gone since the report came out. Uh, January has come and gone. February has come and gone. We're now in March. In two weeks' time, we'll be in April, leaving six months and a week to the elections. I want to add something very briefly, Wendy. The Constitution, as per CI 72, makes it obligatory that three months before the election, the provisional voters' register is displayed, which takes us to July, August of mm -hmm. this year. And yet, the, the validation process is not even in so place. So what are you intend doing about this issue? Oh, I mean, we, we have the right to assemble and bring pressure to bear. So that's what Let My Vote Count Alliance will do. We're hoping demonstrate again. to demonstrate again. Okay. Um, and again, uh, we're doing so with the full confidence of Ghanaians knowing that uh, we'll bring pressure to bear, legitimate okay. pressure to bear, that the EC under Charlotte say will do the necessary thing. Do the recommendations of your own panel what do you have to fear? Because right. that, this will remove uh, il the illegality within the electoral register and make right. sure that we have a free, fair, credible, and indeed peaceful election. Thank you very much, um, Ibrahim Ajay. He is a spokesperson for Let My Vote Count.